So one day last year, Brian asked me a question that single-handedly strengthened my resolve in this little homeschool of ours. I was homeschooling, running a couple of businesses to try to help out around here. I was making videos, all the while dreaming up all things Falco family and the Live and Learn tour. And I was overwhelmed, <laughs> completely overwhelmed. Overwhelmed is probably a gross understatement. And he came to me one night and he said, what would you be doing if you weren't doing all the other things? What would you be doing if you weren't running the businesses, if you weren't making videos? What would things look like? And my answer was so sure and so simple that it surprised even me. And that was, I'd be doing the exact same thing. And honestly, I'd probably be moving full steam ahead with this whole Falco family and live and learn tour adventure without looking back, with no sponsors, no concrete plans, no idea of how all of this is going to happen. Just starting with curious hearts and minds ready to explore the world around us, whether near or far. Just truly looking for a journey full of faith and love. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of questions about the tour, about this live and learn tour and what it even is and what are all the plans and what are <laughs> all of our stops along the way and I am going to be 100% completely transparent in saying that I have no real concrete plans. I do have a dream that was placed inside my heart and my goal and my job is to make sure that I move forward one step at a time in the direction of that dream. So I got out a piece of paper and I wrote, we wrote all the things down, all the places we were interested in that we come across in our studies. We wrote down uh, businesses, small businesses run by beautiful people with wonderful dreams that we'd want to meet along the way. We wrote down other homeschool families, homeschool moms, family members that we haven't seen in a long time. And that is where the idea for taking this show on the road started. <laughs> it's become wildly popular these days. Um, for people to build tiny homes and um, to purchase RVs and sell all of their things and um, head off on a wonderful adventure around the world. But I knew that that wasn't a great fit for us. I knew that I was meant to keep my home base new and that is very, very important to us. Um, so I struggled trying to figure out how we were going to begin this little adventure and what we were supposed to do and what do we look like in this space of um, dreaming big and wanting more for your family. I came across this quote the other day that was so fitting for us right now. The quote says, a fresh start isn't a new place, it's a new mindset. And that was exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get the kids amped up, get myself and Brian um, pumped to fully immerse ourselves in this new mindset. And so there was no better place than for us to start at home. within minutes of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for years now, uh, but we've never truly explored this city. And I think that's a thing, right? Oftentimes we overlook the places and the things and the adventures that are right in front of us. And so uh, in talking out plans about where we would start and what we would do, even though we had lived here for so long, we knew that it was right to simply start at home. 
And so it has been beyond perfect for the very first stop on our Live and Learn Tour 2020 to be none other than the city of brotherly and sisterly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> talk about this city. <laughs> First of all, this city is so incredibly rich in history, which we have been quickly learning that the joy of history lies 110% in your perspective. Uh, we can walk the streets of places we've been so many times before and not have one single thought of all of the people that walked that same path before us. So we were right in the heart of Philadelphia, the birthplace of America, and there was so much to explore. Do you have Ken? John Adams. First of all, let me tell you about these kids of mine. <laughs> to Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah, I have been so incredibly blessed by your heart and your willingness to jump on this imaginary train with your mama to truly explore the world around you. I had a few doubts and a few fears that they would not be happy about this being the first stop of our tour. We've been to Philadelphia many times before and there was something inside of me that was like, oh, this is not gonna be as exciting for them. But then I had to remember what I always say to others and I needed to simply say back to myself again, which is that I had the power to make this magical for them. And so I let them know that our first stop of our tour was going to be none other than Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they were so excited. <laughs> the first thing that I loved about my little troopers was that we are in the city in the thick of the winter, okay? It's cold. <laughs> So we have our coats, we have our hats, we have our boots on, and that still did not stop us from exploring like it was a beautiful day in spring. And while I've been to this city in the spring and summer months, there was something really, really wonderful about exploring Philadelphia in the thick of the winter. There was a crispness in the air that really just, I don't know, we liked it. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to do to prepare for the tour was to have individual cameras for each of the kids to be able to document all of the things. Um, I'm not there yet, okay? <laughs> but what the kids did on their very own was use what we had. Savannah grabbed my phone, Cameron grabbed his dad's phone, and they started taking video and pictures that made this photographer, videographer, filmmaker, mama's heart like do all the dances, okay? <laughs> Of course, we toured Independence Hall, which I had no idea how they were going to respond. You know, you never want the kids to say that they're bored or feel like, you know, mommy, you pumped me up for this adventure and like, what even is this? <laughs> but they were the total opposite and I was so incredibly pleasantly, not surprised, but 
surprised. <laughs> and then we headed up to um, the second floor where we could look out of the window and see across the street the Liberty Bell Center. So of course on our list of things to do was to visit Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, all things Philly um, that we hadn't quite tapped into and we had overlooked which is something I highly advise that you would not do is overlook the treasures and the beauty that is right in front of you. I have to see the Liberty Bell. Okay, cool. <laughs> The kids were nice and hungry and that is a big thing for me um, in approaching this live and learn tour because I have a household that has several very severe food allergies and so one of my um, hesitations has been what are we gonna eat <laughs> when we go out but it turns out that there is a historical building called the Boris that they recently transformed into this gorgeous food court that we were able to go and just pick out the things that fit each one of us and sit down and eat together. This is going to be Kendall's whole domain because on the tour we are looking for opportunities for him to meet with chefs to do all the cooking that he can and do all the eating that he can. <laughs> One of our favorites is Mark Weems and he travels around and um, experiences these incredible cuisines all over and we all love watching him together. So it was fun to have them have their own little Mark Weems travel for food type of moments. <laughs> After lunchtime, we headed over to Penn's Landing, the Blue Cross River Rink. And this is where you can go and ice skate. It's a beautiful little spot just to be out with your family. Um, and this is also where you will find the Big Red from Philly with Love Chair.
Uh, another thing we were going to do was actually ice skate, but we didn't end up doing that because um, the day before it was really, really warm and so the ice wasn't great, especially for our first time on the ice. So we'll be visiting very, very soon to make sure we get our ice skating in. Despite not ice skating, we still spent some time flying the drone, um, letting the kids just run around and explore. They had giant Connect Four that the kids wanted to play. And then we just hung out and just really enjoyed ourselves before we headed back from our day in Philadelphia. So from our trip, I had the kids take all the notes they could, all the pictures, all the video they could, um, in hopes of us bringing all of those things back, being able to revisit those memories and let that catapult any of their studies in whatever way fits them best. So this was the perfect place to start off, or to kick off our Live and Learn tour by starting at home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I feel so incredibly blessed to have you guys on this journey with us. As we start from the very beginning, there is a blog post that will go along with each one of these Live and Learn Tour videos that lay out all the things that we did and all of our thoughts and all of the things that we pulled together to enhance our studies, what the kids decided to do with the information, just all of those Live and learn type of things. So make sure you head over to thefalcofamily.com backslash blog to check out our blog post that goes along with this stop of our tour. The tour is officially in full effect and um, we couldn't be more excited.